Welcome to the Figure Zone. Check out these awesome figures shipping now. Asmus Toys, Jujutsu Kaisen, Ryomen Sukuna, all versions. And 3 0 Berserk Griffith. Prepare your wallets. The pre orders are coming. BGM Bloody Gangster, quarter one of 2025 and 175 bucks. And it's Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders. You're getting the head sculpt, body, extra hands, hat, pocket watch, and some weapons. What do you guys think of this head sculpt? I think it pretty much looks just like him. The outfit looks pretty cool. Not bad. What do you think? Enter Bay, NBA Rio Masterpiece, Michael Jordan, I'm back. Number 45, limited edition reissue. Quarter one of 2025 and 280 bucks. Limited to 2,500 pieces. You got two head sculpts, some extra hands, outfit, extra sneakers. I'm pretty sure the ball is magnetic for the hands. You get a COA and a stand. We have two figures from Zen Punk Collectibles. We have Dr. Wayne Caster version, quarter three of 2024 and 405 bucks. 11.8 inches tall. It's got a green LED light up head, plus a human style head with an Oni mask that you can use to customize a bunch of different looks. A semi mechanization mechanization mech chickenization body outfit accessories and weapons and there's also a pollux version quarter three of 2025 and it's also 405 bucks looks like the same figure but it's got some different paint apps you also get a yellow coat and a blue led light up head sculpt and the customizable human head sculpt both versions do look pretty cool they're expensive, but it's a cool cyborg looking dude. And uh, you got two versions here. So if you got 405 bucks laying around, eh, look at these guys. They're kind of cool. YM Toys, Takeout Delivery War Nia, quarter four of 2024 and 230 bucks. Now you got the head with movable eyes and rooted hair. She's got the silicone seamless body, extra hands, outfit, a freaking ton of accessories. You got some weapons and also a stand. She is kind of expensive, but you're getting a lot of accessories here. You can probably use those for other figures too. Plus, they also offer a Segway balanced vehicle thing that comes in four colors and it's also quarter four of 2024 and they are $40 each and each one has a display stand you can put her up on top of the thing and it won't fall over so yeah that's kind of cool if you're just looking for a Segway 40 bucks that's not too bad Mondo, They Live, John Nada, quarter one of 2025 and 225 bucks. Now this is the standard release version. You're not going to be getting the timed edition bonus stuff like the cool What If Alien head sculpt and also the sunglasses with the aliens They Live kind of theme thing going on. The lens is there. You're pretty much still getting the same figure with all of the accessories that were in the timed edition and it's still a great figure if you did miss out on the timed edition scoop this one up because it's still freaking john from they live and the figure does look pretty cool i think they did a great job on this now there's still plenty more figures left in the video but if you're enjoying it so far do me a huge favor hit that thumbs up button if you want to stay updated with the latest action figure releases hit that subscribe button and bell notification you can also check out my ebay page and instagram like saving money and action figures, use my giant toy and other links in the description below. Free mother fracking chivet and my trusted overseas sellers. You can also help support the channel by using my Sideshow Collectibles link. Any purchase through that link or a pre-order helps me out big time. If you guys use the links, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. And thanks so much everyone who used it already. You guys are mother freaking awesome. And for my favorite statue of the day, Alice 21 Studio. We have Zenless Zone Zero, 
Alexandrina Sebastian. Quarter 4 of 2024, not quite sure the price. Limited to 198 pieces. Now she is 10.24 inches tall. Their descriptions may not have been translated well, so I'll do the best I can. Looks like there's three versions. A standard with a smiling head, deluxe with a bonus birthday suit body, and an exclusive with the birthday suit body, extra tongue sticking out head, and a cushion platform. She gets the Al Bundy seal of approval. Play toy. P025A and B Eve, quarter two of 2025. Now, A has the white and blue outfit, and she is $209. You get the head sculpt with a sculpted top hair but a rooted ponytail, and it also has the movable eyes. You get the silicone seamless body with metal skeleton, extra hands, outfit, and a sword. B's got the black and the red going on here. She is 190 bucks, and she's got the head sculpt with the rooted ponytail and the movable eyes. Seamless silicone body with metal skeleton, extra hands, outfit and a sword also. Both versions look awesome. Which one do you guys like the best? Hot Toys. Terminator 2 T-800 Battle Damage Terminator 2.0. Quarter 4 of 2025 and 350 bucks. I guess he is back. 12.6 inches tall. Now you get the battle damaged head with movable eyes. Another head sculpt with a battle damaged endoskeleton reveal that's got a movable eye and an LED light up right eye. You got a new body with over 30 points of articulation. Battle damaged attachable left arm. Outfit with a real leather jacket. An extra real leather jacket with the missing left forearm. Leather pants and a leather belt. You got weapons and a USB powered LED light up steel mill themed diorama base. This is amazing looking. The head sculpts are freaking nuts. You get a pile of real leather going on, plus two leather jackets, one for the swap out arm. Yeah, that's just freaking awesome. This thing is amazing. Art figure AF029A Scissor Hands Artisan Edition. Quarter one of 2025 and 372 bucks. And of course, it's Edward Scissorhands. It looks like the same figure that they released a while ago. That one had sculpted hair, and the big difference now is this one's got the rooted hair with the wool implanted hair going on. You got the body with over 30 points of articulation, movable scissor hands, outfit with real metal buckles and buttons, PVC black leather boots. Instead, this figure is crazy cool looking. The detail in this guy is incredible. The head looks just like him in my opinion. And the rooted hair adds that more realistic look to the figure. I think this is really freaking cool. This is the best Edward Scissorhands figure I've seen. So let me know your thoughts on this figure and the other figures in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? Also, check out the other links in the description below for some more cool stuff. And if you want to see some more action figure awesomeness, check out that video to the left or playlist to the right loaded with more motherfucking figures you do not want to miss out on. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next video.